Hey guys, um, so another job from the little Jayco today, so we've got to get ready to go home. So we come across from the east coast, and the camper did about uh, 10,000 kilometres. So we're getting ready to go from west coast to east coast again. So it's time to check and repack the bearings. So the first thing we've done is um, have to get the uh, obviously remove the tyre, and then you need to get this hub cap off. All right. So all I've done there is just use a screwdriver, righto, in a little join there or the seam, righto, and then just work your way around, tap your way around till you can remove your hub cap. That's then going to give you access uh, to the castle nut or castle nut, depending on which state you come from. Righto, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to straighten this little coddle pin out and then we're going to take that pin out and that'll let us take off the castle nut there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've gone ahead, just used a set of, you know, just run-of-the-mill pliers here. Just straighten the ends of that pin. Alright, and then we can take that pin out. Um, it may pay to just have a, you know, a spare set or an extra pin just laying around because, you know, if you keep bending them, straightening them, then eventually, you know, they, um, they get weak and sometimes you can snap one off. Alright, or if you think it's a bit suspect, better to um, replace that. Righto, because if the end snaps off and starts spinning around in there with your bearings, it's um, it's not going to be good. Okay, now we can just unscrew the castle nut. Right, basically it's just sort of hand tight. Righto, it's obviously let the wheel friends uh, spin freely. Off she comes. All right, then we're just going to um. Just give the hub a little shimmy. I'm working one hand here, so <laughs> bear with me. Okay, there we go. So I'll just shimmy that out a little bit. Um, so this is a, a 2011 Jayco Hawk uh, for those guys on the Jayco website. All right, you have that uh, big washer that comes off. And then you can see the outer bearing sitting on the axle there. Okay, we'll just give that a bit more of a wiggle. Basically, you're just trying to get enough, say, enough purchase so you can actually grab that bearing. I might just sort of pause that there. Basically, you're just going to shimmy it out to you can grab the bearing and pull the bearing off. Okay, so there it is there, that's your outer bearing. Um, now on the outbacks, they're um, basically what I call inline bearing. So the rear the rear bearing and uh, and the inner and outer bearings are identical, okay? Um, it's a good idea though, that if you're gonna put them back, um, then put them back in their uh, correct places, i.e. You know, don't try not to swap them around um, because they do obviously bed in and they get used to their little location inside the hub there. So that's all, a little roller bearing, right, pretty simple. Okay, there's the axle with the outer bearing out now. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm then gonna, now, um, I'm gonna put the castle nut back on and the reason for that is to pop the rear bearing and the rear seal, okay, off the back of the hub. Um, you've got to go easy on it though, don't go too rough because obviously you might damage the rear seal and hopefully you'll be able to reuse that. Um, and obviously it's always a good idea just to carry a spare set of bearings with you anyway when you're doing a long trip. Okay. Um, the thing that'll let you down most is obviously uh, the bearings drying out okay, or, or, um, or obviously uh, cracking and letting go and that's going to fall on to the axle which is then going to create heat. Righto, and then obviously damage the axle, so that's not really what you want. Um, it's a good idea with your bearings, every 10,000, okay, as a rough guide, or at least once a year, okay, take them out, clean them up, repack them with new grease, and put them back together, and obviously while you've got them out, just inspect your bearings. Make sure they're not, you know, and the inside of your hub, make sure there's no scouring, okay, big gouges, righto, or any uh, cracks or gouges on your uh, bearings, if so, then obviously just uh, just replace them, right? So there's that castle nut, just slip back on. 
and now I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to shimmy the hub off and it's going to the outer bearing is going to catch on the castle nut and then that'll bring it uh, and pull those bearing and the rear seal out okay so there we go so just a little bit of general coaxing just go easy on it all right so you can take that castle nut off now bring in the tin there's the inner bearing okay as you can see Right, identical to the outer. Right, we'll make sure we separate them so we don't know that's the inner and that's the outer. Okay, now getting that off, what's happened is the little rear seal has come off, and then inside the rear seal, there's a rubber. Right, just on the inside of the rear seal. Right, and inside of that, holding it tight, is a little spring. And as you can see, that one's a little bit worse for wear. All right, so that happens, okay, we're just going to replace, put a new rear seal on. Um, so there's our axle there. A little bit of grit on there. We did do a lot of dirt roads coming across um, out around Burrsville. I know, so there's a bit of grit in there. There's probably a little bit of brake dust and stuff like that as well. So there's your brake magnet. Now be careful too, just a point to note, that's a little spring behind there. And when, you, um, when you're when you putting the hub back on, sometimes it, the uh, magnet jumps towards it and it may come away from this little holder on its spring there, right? Because there's nothing holding that on, it just sits against the hub, all right? Um, so yeah, just make sure that it doesn't sort of jump across and come off its little, uh, little spring. Um, so what we'll do is we'll give that a quick spray up with some brake cleaner. We'll get rid of all that dust and all the brake dust and gunk from inside the hub as well. Or right, you can see that old grease, how black that is. The new grease is like a sort of pinky reddy colour. All right, so it's just getting a little bit grubby. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll just get a can of brake cleaner and we'll just spray it around the inner drum and then around the brake system as well. Still got a little bit of beef on the pads. I, th I think they'll be all right. They should get us back over the east coast anyway with the car doing most of the braking. All right, so we'll just give that a crane up with some brake cleaner. Okay, so brake cleaner done. Um, all we're going to do now is just going to get a rag and we're going to clean all the old grease off the axle. Out of the hub, so all the old grease get it all out of there. You can see the old grease there, obviously it goes dark with age. As I said, this camp has done, since I've done the bearings, done about 10,000 kilometres from the east coast to the west coast. And then, sorry about the shadow there. All right, all I've do is just got the bearings and uh, bits and pieces. That's just degreaser, all right. You can use a bit of unleaded petrol uh, if you like, just to clean all the old, get the old grease out of them. All right, and get them nice and shiny again. Um, with the unleaded though, uh, if you're using unleaded, probably just keep the rear seal out because it has got a little rubber seal. Uh, unleaded petrol is probably not much good. And don't leave it too long in the degreaser either. It'll make that rubber go hard. Um, obviously, we lost a spring in this one. So, not going to reuse that rear seal. So, it's lost its little... Uh, there's a little spring that runs around the inside of the rubber seal. All right, and we saw that when we uh, took it off. So, it was a bit worse for her. Um, so... We've got a new one, so a new rubber seal. So this is this, this basically the uh, spare set of bearings that I keep in the car. All right, and that includes a rubber rear seal. So we'll use that rear seal on this side uh, just to replace that old one because that's got a nice new spring. But I'll still have my um, my spare bearings. Now I know on the Jayco site, you know, there's a lot of people um, you know ask, oh, you know, what type of bearings, etc., etc. Um, I think really the easiest way to go is um, tear it apart, get your old ones out, right? Out, and you'll see, it's a bit hard to see, the numbers there, right? Um, so either take those numbers down and when you go down to your bearing shop, right? Out, or take the old ones with you and just say, yeah, I need a new set of these, right? Out, and then obviously they'll match up the, the, uh, the rear seal. They're quite, yeah, it's quite a common bearing. There's nothing, there's nothing uh, you know, nothing flash about them. Uh, there's plenty of them around so they're not hard to get 
So yeah, instead of trying to you know guess, go down the bearing shot, come back, and then find you know you got the wrong numbers or the wrong bearing. All right, the best thing you can do is, is take your old ones down there, put the camper up on its jack stands, and um, yeah, just take them down there. Like I said, you know they're pretty, fairly common bearing. Now I believe, uh, don't quote me, but on the touring models, the bearings are different sizes; they're not uh, in parallel, so one is smaller than the other. So again, either take the numbers down or the gold plate solution is, yeah, take the old bearings down to the shop and just say, look, I need a new pair of these. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and clean them up now and we'll get all the old grease off the axle, wipe that off the axle and wipe out all the grief, grease inside the hub there. Now I'm ready for the new grease. Okay, so next step, so we've cleaned all that off. Nice clean axle now. And we rubbed all the old grease out of the... Uh, the bearing race there on the inside on the inner and outer casing right so this is the grease I have it's obviously um, uh, high speed grease uh, it goes up there to what 185C right, uh, um, probably you know fairly stock standard stuff um, but if you know if you go into your bearing shop or wherever you go and just tell them you know what you require it for so to repack your bearings on your camp trailer, right? And then I'll match you up with some grease. Okay, as you can see, it's that sort of pinky, reddish sort of colour. All right. So now comes the dirty part of it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to rub just a thin film all over the axle, right? And then we're going to do the same in the uh, inner and outer bearing race right so just a just a light film because obviously your bearings need space still you don't want to cake that out right and have too much if you get too much all right um, what can happen is if you get too much of a build up you can actually blow out the rear seal okay um, and then you're going to obviously lose all your grease the axle's going to uh, bearings are going to overheat and they're going to fail all right so just a light film all right so everything slides on nice and easy Right, and then uh, so they can be bearings can be seated, right? And then uh, shortly we'll go through packing the actual bearings.